What's up my people? I'm here at Fort Takeover and this is Dave and his son and this is his beautiful 97 you said? Yeah. Coyote swapped SN95. If you take a look at this thing, the camera doesn't do any justice on how beautiful it is. He's got a laundry list of things he's done with this car but he's going to talk to us about some of the things that he's done to this car so far. I mean, he could probably talk two days about everything he's done with this car, but Dave, you said this is a Gen 2 Coyote, right? It is a Gen 2. It's got a T56 dual clutch, all new, out of the box, Ford racing crank motor. Uh, it's got a Aeromotive 1000 fuel system on it, half inch lines, and uh, basically just 03 Cobra brakes, factory rear brakes. But, uh, the four control pack for the engine. Now, I was talking to you about some of the difficulties you can have with putting a Coyote motor in an SN95. And you was explaining to me how when you set this in here, you really have to be almost perfect on your angle of entry when you put the motor in, right? Uh, well, it was a tight fit. I mean, it was, we had it stuck inside the engine bay for about 45 minutes trying to unwedge it. Uh, they recommend you put it in from the bottom, but when you're doing it out of your garage and you don't have a lift, right? You just kind of have to work with what you got. So exactly. We finally got it unwedged and bolted in, and it's tight, but it works. Now, I always like to ask people this, as far as usable power, and I think Dave gave me the perfect answer. <laughs> I was asking him, you know, this Gen 2 Turbo, I mean, just this, just this uh, Gen 2 Coyote makes around 500 horsepower to the wheel and he was saying he's going to put a pro charge on it and i asked him why and you told me why not <laughs> why not you know if, if if you're badass at 500 then why not add up another two to 300 on this thing and just daily drive it if you really wanted to right that's the beauty about these coyotes you know i mean i for one i mean you can put a pro charger on it and the sound, the power, the, the head turns, the video we're doing right now would be even better if it had a pro charger. So why not, why not do it? I mean, besides the money. <laughs> now your wheel setup, tell me about this. Uh, it's a True Forge three piece, 18 by nines in the front with 275s. And then the back is a 11 inch, 18 by 11 with 335s. And it's tight too. It barely clears, it rubs a little, but it's not cutting into the tires, so it's good with me. Now tell me about this um, sump setup you have back here. Uh, it's just an aeromotive kit, about three grand, good for about a thousand horse. I, now, know, I know if I ever upgrade on a pro charger like I'm playing, I got plenty of fuel, fuel to do it. So. Now with this eliminator, do you have to run a um, fuel cooler with this? Have you had any issues? No fuel cooler. Okay. Is this, I, I didn't ask you, is this gas or E85? It's gas. It's gas. Now, when you do a pro charge upgrade, are you going to convert to E85? Uh, eventually, probably. Nice. Now, how abundant is E85 around you? Because I'm fortunate enough where I, I stumble around E85 around me, and it tests pretty good. The lowest test I ever got was like E78. Uh, I don't really know anybody that's ever ran it around here or in the Memphis area. I know a bunch of guys do it, but I don't know them personally. And that's one of those things that, you know, you want to be able to go to the gas station and fill up and go, that's fine. But if you can't get the fuel, what's the point? Exactly. So I'm good with just 93 and 700 horse. 93 and 700 horse. Now you have the 03 Cobra, um, those are the anniversary seats? Yes. It's nice. The inside's all factory. It's got a maximum motorsport bolt-in cage with a rear delete. It's got the... Uh, Suede steering wheel, basically all stock, new carpet. That's beautiful. Now, Dave, do you have a um, social media channel or no? So, basically, uh, Dave was telling me about Holly Fest and how I've never been before, and he's like, "That's one of the mecca journeys that you have to make if if you're into this stuff." So, I'm definitely going to check it out. But tell me about this uh, front bumper right here. Uh, it's a Cervini Stalker front end. Uh, it basically mimics the 97 Cobra front end with a little bit more steroid in it, I guess. <laughs> right. uh, there's not many options out there. I, I felt that it fit the car with the, with the 
paint and everything, so I went with it. Yeah, and I love the uh, red, white, and blue color scheme. And you said this was kind of like a spur of the moment, yeah, painting that. You know, with everything going on, I figured red, white, and blue right now would be a good, good thing to try to support. Absolutely. So. Now, this is a beautiful coyote swap, man. I um, kind of go back and forth with keeping my car a push rod or switching over to a modular platform, but you know, the boss intake, it, it just looks like it, it was made to go in this engine bay, honestly. Well, I, I took the, the Holly Fest last year and it won the class. And the whole reasoning for me taking it there and trying to compete at the last minute was like, I feel like the car was built like Ford would do. Yeah. Like I don't, I didn't really do a whole lot of add-ons that I don't think it would be a special, wouldn't be a special edition for Ford. And the fit and finish, I tried to finish it out the way Ford would do it. Great, man. Dave, I really appreciate your time, man. And um, I look forward to seeing you down at Holly Fest. All right, we'll see All right. you there. Take it easy. Trash on the 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 trash on